Good morning all. This is Swapna. Welcome to machine learning video. Today's our topic is minimum description length principle. Minimum description length principle is motivated by interpreting the definition of H map maximum a posterior hypothesis. It is interpreted and motivated by this definition. Already we know maximum a posterior of hypothesis is represented by this formula. Within this, this formula once again we can express it in terms of maximizing the log 2 with this formula. So, arg, arg max h small h belongs to capital H log 2 p of d by h plus log 2 p of h. If you apply the logarithmic for this in the form of maximizing the log 2 is we can represent. Alternatively, this maximum a posterior hypothesis formula also we can represent with by the minimizing the negativity of quantity by this one like this also we can represent arg min h belongs to capital H minus log 2 p of d by h minus log 2 p of h and what is p of, p of d by h and p of h p of h is property of hypothesis p of p of d by h is already we know is uh, probability of distribution over the hypothesis prior probability prior informations that are it is a powerful method and basis of statistical modeling machine learning pattern recognition so maximum description length principle is a powerful method it also basis for statistical modeling machine learning and pattern recognition to design a code to transmit uh, which is drawn randomly probability of encountering message is p of i here we are considering one message randomly drawn from the distribution and we want to transmit that one probability of that that message is p of i message is represented with the i and to transmit this one we are encoding the message by using the sum code so code is represented as a c and description of length message of i with respect to code is also the number of bits required to encode that message so to encode that message the number of bits is the length depend upon the length of the message message is represented with i and probability of that message is p of i and code is represented that is represented with the capital c minimum description length so minimum description length formula is represented like this and to represent that one it is used the notation of hmdl minimum description length principle where h of minimum description length is represented like this arg minimum h belongs to capital h lc1 of h and lc2 of d by h and c1 is the optimal encoding of hypothesis h c1 is a already we said to represent that code to encode the message to encode the message represented code is rep by using the c here we are using two notations to get the maximum description length of one particular hypothesis and when while uh, here we are considering the sorry not a maximum minimum description length here we are considering minimum description length to encode a message and to transmit it so that principle here we are using here we are applying this principle on hypothesis with the two terms lc1 and lc2 l already we know that is length minimum description length and c1 and c2 c1 is a one constant code which is a represent the optimal encoding of hypothesis h is a hypothesis of particular ch if we use c2 c2 is what we can say optimal encoding for this c of d by h then if we use c1 and c2 are optimal encodings encoding encodes for hypothesis and for c of d by h then h of mdl is becomes as h of maximum a posterior hypothesis whatever the maximum posterior hypothesis only will become as a minimum description length hypothesis minimum description length hypothesis we will get by using this formula by lc of lc1 of h lc2 of d by h c1 is optimal encoding of hypothesis c2 is optimal encoding for this d by h 
and a max minimum description length principle provides a trade off between the hypothesis complexity and number of errors committed by the hypothesis it acting as a trade off between these two complexity and number of errors here it will select a shorter method when you want to use that one so use the select a shorter hypothesis which makes a few errors than a longer hypothesis that perfectly classifies the training data why we are going for the minimum description length the principle means to encode or to transmit the hypothesis to encode that one to transmit that hypothesis to provide its security we are encoding that one how we are encoding by using the sum codes for hypothesis is sum code is we use it that is c1 and some and optimal encoding is used for this uh, what we can say d by d by h the probability of uh, distributed over that hypothesis for that also we used it the sum and uh, coding method that is represented with the c2 in previous form <laughs> so here to transmit that one select a shorter hypothesis which are making a few errors instead of selecting the longer hypothesis which one is the perfect one because we require the minimum length one minimum length one that's why here it is preparing the shortest hypothesis by this i am concluding this video we'll meet in the next video thank you